I can't believe this. Why is this happening to me? So right here, what this means is that, and this is that, and, hey, are you listening there? Sorry, I was a bit zoned out. Oh, come on now, you have to be paying attention. You won't be able to become a good teacher if you keep on doing this. Yes, sir, it won't happen again. My name is Sho Hatakayama. I'm a 40-year-old college student. Yeah, I'll say it again, I'm a 40-year-old college student. I used to be a high school teacher, but a lot has happened, and I'm back studying education in college now. This is all their fault. It's finally lunch break. There's only young college students here. I might be sticking out like a sore thumb right now. I'll go grab lunch in the cafeteria again, I guess. Hey, uh, could I get one gyudon, please? Hey, Hatakayama! You gotta cheer up! Why are you looking so depressed? Uh, I'll give you extra beef so you can get energized. Thank you, ma'am. You're the only person in this world that understands me. <laughs> Come on, stop crying! You're an adult already! Grow up! And so I grabbed the food from her and sat down at my usual seat, which was in the corner of the room. Man, this is so good. This is the only time I feel happy here. Hey, can we sit next to you? Let us scooch in there. Uh huh? Why are you eating alone, by the way? You should follow us and eat over there with us. He's right! Don't you feel lonely? Well... Oh, my name is Masa. I'm the same major as you. My name is Miki. I always wanted to be your friend, you know? Uh, why? Why? Because <laughs> you seem like a good person. But I'm, like, way older than you guys. Age doesn't matter. We all want to be a teacher, right? We share the same goals. That's all that matters. You sure? Of course. Come on, my friends and I are over there, too. Let's go, buddy. Thank you. And those were the first friends I ever made at this school. They're all amazing kids. They said the school was full of bad apples, but they were dead wrong. Nice to meet you all. Hey, guys, I brought them here with us. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. What's your name, by the way? It's Hatakayama. He meant your first name, dummy. Oh, it's a uh, Cho. Cho. Well, from now on, you're part of our group. <laughs> Are you crying, Cho? And that day, I sat there with my new friends for the rest of the day, just chatting about life. The food here is always great, but that day it tasted extra delicious. By the way, have you joined a club yet? Uh, no, I haven't. I bet none of them want a middle-aged man like me in their club anyway. What? Then you should join our club, Shoal. It's a tennis club called Angel. Angel? That's right. It's basically just a tennis club, but all we do is just go out for drinks. We're going out this Friday, so you should come with us. Are you sure about this? No, oh, of course. We're friends, right? Uh, thank you. <laughs> Yo, by the way, I think you'd look cooler if you dyed your hair blonde. I think so, too. You're a college student. You should try dyeing your hair. Blonde? Yeah, it looks so good on you. Yeah, you'd get all the girls. Come to my place tonight. I'll dye it for you. Uh huh? That's sick. And so after the school ended, we all went to Masa's place to dye my hair. Uh, how is it? It looks great on you. All of the girls are going to want you now. You sure? <laughs> Show's blushing. <laughs> and from that day on, I started hanging out with these friends. Man, who knew college was this much fun? I was starting to think that way, but uh, on Friday. Phew, when's my next class? Hey, Show. You're coming today, right? Musa, Mickey, uh, what are you talking about? What, you forgot it already? Oh, come on. We're supposed to go out drinking with the rest of the club's members tonight. Oh, that. We're meeting at 7 p.m. in front of the restaurant by the station. We're done for the day, so we're gonna head back home now. Yeah, see you later. When I was a teenager, I spent my days studying, so I never went out drinking with friends. And so I arrived at the restaurant 30 minutes before we were supposed to meet. Oh shoot, I got here too early. No one's here yet. I should wait outside. Uh, I don't want to burden the waiters. When the clock hit 6.55, I walked into the restaurant because I was getting a bit cold. They should be here soon, right? 20 minutes later... Excuse me, uh, are your friends going to show up? Oh, uh, I'll try texting them now. Yeah, they're late, aren't they? Oh shoot, he answered the phone! Uh, hello, Masa? Oh, hey, Show. What's up? Where is everyone? I thought we were supposed to meet up 15 minutes ago. Us? Oh, well, right now we're all here. Yay! You seeing this, Show? We're at the freaking beach! Man, the beach is so cool! 
Wait, you're at the beach? Wait a minute, our prefecture doesn't even have a beach, though. Yeah, because we're out of town right now. Uh, out of town? Wait, why? We decided to change our plans and head to the beach to host a barbecue party. So, uh, pay for our bill there. We already ordered an all-you-can-eat course meal, so have as much as you want. <laughs> That's so mean, Masa. <laughs> so, you're not coming back? Of course not! We can't go back to the restaurant now. Well, we could, but we won't. We're not gonna go all the way back just so we can eat with you. It's ridiculous that you thought you could go out drinking with us in the first place. You're our parents' age. We would never want to hang out with you. And you even dyed your hair blonde because we told you it looked cool. <laughs> that was freaking hilarious. You know what we call you? We call you a golden pig. Uh, why? Why did we approach you in the first place? Oh, well, that's because we thought you'd be fun to play around with. And this isn't the first time we've done something like this to someone. We do this occasionally to other losers, too. The guy we bullied before you quit school after a month. I wonder how long you'll last here, piggy. Let's break the record, yeah? Why do losers even want to be teachers in the first place? What? Oh, because we get paid by the government. It's a super stable job. And it's easy to get a job offer, too. That's basically the only reason, yeah. Yeah. We don't have to worry about our company going under or anything. So you're not doing this because you like kids or anything? Kids? Oh no, I hate kids. I'm gonna beat them up when I become a teacher. <laughs> That's called abuse. Just do it so they don't find out. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> you might be right. So, you gonna pay the bill at the restaurant, right? Uh, sure. Oh, I didn't think you'd accept that so quickly, but we're still gonna bully you regardless. Alright, then I'm kicking all of you out of the school. Wait, what? Uh, what do you mean? He's just trying to scare us, Masa. Mickey's right, that's pathetic, you piggy. You're just a freshman here. How are you even going to do that? You know what? I dare you to do it. Well, I can, unfortunately. What are you talking about? You're the one getting kicked out of this university. Alright, see you Monday. The next week? I wonder if he's here today. If he is, we should make fun of him again. I'm looking forward to it. I wonder how long he'll survive here. I bet it'll only last a week. I say three days. Hey, you guys there, quiet down! Uh, sorry! Uh, come on, guys, you're being too loud! S sorry Hey, what the? Why are you guys even here? Please exit this classroom immediately. Uh, what are you talking about, sir? We're students here. And we're enrolled in this class, too. I heard from the headmaster that you guys were expelled. We need to get this class going, so please leave. You're telling us that... Hey, everyone's staring at us. Let's get out of here for now. Yeah, you're right. So what are we gonna do? We should go complain to the Office of Student Affairs. That won't help you guys. You guys were expelled already. I told you, didn't I? Uh, Peggy? So we're getting expelled just because you say so? Well, I'm the headmaster here. Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about, Piggy? There's no way someone like you is the headmaster here. Uh, he's right. He's indeed the head chef here. You mean headmaster, Leon. I don't think Mr. Hatakeyama can cook like a head chef. And if you're gonna be a head chef, you better start training now. What are you talking about, Mamoru? I never said I wanted to be a head chef. Who the hell are you guys? Wait, I think they're the Ugamori brothers. Huh? He, he's right. He spoke at our school the other day. Wait, you mean the Ugamori brothers? The ones that recently bought our university? That's right. I'm Mamoru Ugamori. And I'm Leon Ugamori. Wait, so this dude is basically the headmaster here, actually? I've been telling you that, haven't I? Wait, how in the world are you? Well, it's a long story, but... What's wrong, Mr. Hatakeyama? You look really tired. Well, I had to yell at one of the new teachers again. It's getting tiring telling them the same thing over and over again. Huh? Don't you mean the students? No, they're playing games on their phones during work hours. And even get things wrong when they're marking student exams because they're on their phones while doing it. Uh, what? That sounds like something a student would do. Yeah, right? Lately, the quality of teachers has taken a big dip. 
then you should become the head chef and change that. The, the head chef? Yeah, and you can teach the new teachers a lot of things. And you can also cook a mean angel. Uh, what? What are you talking about, angel? Mamadou, you gotta translate this for me. Oh, sure. This has to do with why we called you here today. But we recently bought out a university. Sure, uh, wait, what? You bought out a university? And that's why we wanted you to be the headmaster there. The headmaster? The reason we bought the school out was because the professors didn't care about their students, and the students didn't care about the classes. The reason they want to be a teacher is because they want to make money easily. If those are the students that are growing up to be teachers, then this country is in a lot of trouble. That's why we want you to change the university for the better. By the way, what we mean when we say Angel is, there's a certain club on that university campus called Angel. Apparently, that club has been bullying kids into quitting school, and we want you to put a stop to it. But I can't do that! But you said the other day that you want to go back to college! I didn't mean as a headmaster! Now oh, don't worry, we'll let you attend all your classes for free! So, could you do this for us? We want to make sure that our kids are getting the teachers that they deserve. That's right! You've always been my hero, you know? And we need you to be our hero again! Hero? Uh, hero, huh? That sounds kind of nice. Good job, Leon. Huh? Don't worry about it. Alright then, I'll do it. I'll try it out. Yes! Thank you so much, Mr. Hata! We're counting on you. And so I was tricked into taking his role on. Well, I guess it's my fault for accepting it. Wait, so you're actually a headmaster here? I'm really sorry about what we did to you. Please forgive us. Please don't kick us out. Please! We really want to be teachers! And we'll study really hard, too! Please, show do us a favor! I can't do that for you. What? No way! You have to give us a break, okay? We made one simple mistake. That mistake could ruin a student's life, you know. Being a teacher comes with a great responsibility. But, but I bet you've made mistakes, too! Of course I have, but there are mistakes that can be forgiven and those that can't be. What you did was intentional and can't be forgiven. Teachers are responsible for educating the next generation of this country, and I can't let people like you take on that role. Alright, I'm gonna go back to class. I gotta learn more about what it means to be a teacher. W wait please Don't leave us! And so I ended up kicking out every single member of that tennis club, Angel. Leon and Mamadou also told all the other headmasters around the country about them, so it's fair to say they're never going to be going back to school again. And even if they do decide to get another job, they won't be successful there either. And apparently, they're going to be working multiple jobs to pay back the people that they bullied over for what they've done. They're working day and night because of their mistakes. I saw them the other day, and they all seem super depressed. I guess I'll talk to them once they're done paying back their victims. By the way, I invited everyone that was bullied by them back to my school, and now we're all working hard to become better teachers. Things are going super well, Mr. Hatakeyama. The reputation of the school is going up, and a lot of students are starting to want teachers who got their education here to train them. I'm so glad we asked you to do this! But was this really the right move? I couldn't even change the other teachers that worked at my school. I don't think I deserve to be the headmaster of a university. But you did change them. What? Look at this. We took footage of the teacher that you were talking to about teaching one of his classes. They're like a completely different person. Their classes are well thought out, too. They said they finally understood what you were trying to tell them. You always told them that this year might just be another year to you, but it's one-fourth of a student's high school life for them, right? I see. I'm glad that they were able to change. And you've told the students here that as well, right? What? How do you know about that? Because they're all copying you and saying the same thing. What? And they all said that you don't look good in your blonde hair. What? Wait, I thought we promised that we wouldn't tell them that, Leon. I already knew, okay? I knew it! I freaking knew it! Are you crying, Mr. Hatakeyama? I guess he liked it. And so that's how I became this university's headmaster. I'm planning on going back there to high school, though, soon enough. I want to spend time teaching, but I also want to learn more about it at this school before I leave. Alright, let's do this! Uh, I'm really sleepy because I stayed up all night studying yesterday. Hey, you there, stop stretching! Uh, sir? Why are you being so strict on me? Uh, what? I thought you liked it. What? Leon, the kid who hired me, told me that you liked being taught strictly. 
Mamadou also told me that you were a masochist. I am not, I swear I'm not. I don't like you being all strict on me, those bastards. I'll remember this.